Hey guys, welcome to A Little Magic Every Day. I'm Spider, and today is Beltane, so happy Beltane. Unless you celebrated it yesterday, and then belated happy Beltane. Because, you know, some people do celebrate it on the last day of April, and some people celebrate it as May 1st. I personally celebrate it as May 1st, but I did uh, write a little something, and uh, just inspired by Beltane, so I'm going to read it to you guys. I walked this morning in the sun. The breeze was cool and brought the smell of honeysuckle, cherry blossoms, and sweet gum leaves. I walked with my family and my dog. I was listening to Bob Denver and Elton John. To me, this is Beltane. It is the last Sabbath before it gets way too hot here in Alabama. Everything is green and beautiful. The sky is almost turquoise. Berries grow wild. Bees occupy the noise of the background and bring their particular brand of matchmaking to the flowers. I felt connected to all life. I felt at peace. Um, <clears throat> so, I'm sure you all know Beltane is um, kind of like the first of the Celtic summer um, celebrations. It is a celebration of life and the sacred marriage of the god and goddess. Uh, people do all kinds of things to celebrate this, including uh, the great rite or the um, <clears throat> symbolic equivalent where you put um, drive the dagger into the chalice. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think about some of my favorite Beltanes. Uh, I don't really have anything, like, planned to do for Beltane other than have a dinner tonight with my family. But in the past, I have done some really large Beltane celebrations and some really small Beltane celebrations. Um, my first Beltane with Bat we actually did a um, hand fasting. We had been dating for a couple of months at that time. And so we did a year and a day hand fasting. And we went into the woods and did a little uh, ritual, just the two of us. And um, you know, wrap the cord around our, our wrist and everything. And it was really special. I think that was probably the most significant and special Beltane for me. And then uh, the following year we got married, but not on, on Beltane. We got married closer to Astara, um, which was, had a lot to do with scheduling. <laughs> But anyway, um, of course, some people think that getting married uh, at Beltane is a no-no because it is the sacred marriage of the god and goddess. And, you know, so that's why a lot of people get married, like, at closer to Midsummer or Aletha. Uh, let's see, other really fun Beltanes that I've had... Um, we actually had a group at one time and we got together and did Beltane and we just, you know, had fun. I can tell you one of the worst Beltanes I've ever had and that was when, same group, but we had this one guy in there who decided that he was more knowledgeable than us country people. And, um, he just knew way more than we did, and so he wanted to set up a maypole and everything, and, you know, I wasn't, even though I was, like, kind of the leader of the group and everything, you know, I was not the kind of person who's like, I'm the only one who knows how to do anything, because... So we're like, yeah, sure, go ahead. Let's set up a maypole. Should be fun. You'll have to teach us how to do it because we've never done this. 
and so he's trying to teach us and we are that group was such a group of goofballs we had too much fun just too much fun and he got really mad at us because we were not following directions and having too much fun and not doing it the right way and not going the right way and just messing it up and pitched a little fit and um it was the same day that I found out that um okay he had asked us to initiate him and then skipped his initiation and then uh, showed up at this festival already a little drunk proceeded to get drunker and then um, finally told us that he had started his own group in another city and that he had been afraid to tell us because he did not get permission first and you know we weren't like a real coven or anything we were a herd of cats I mean we had people who were Wiccan, we had people who were um, Catholic and Pagan. We had people who were searching, we had people who were more into psychedelics than um, spirituality. We had some old hippies, we had some young hippies, we had um, a guy show up who was just looking for pagan girls we had to get rid of him and so you know I was like yeah that's no, no problem that you started a group in another city and he was like well you know I know it's it's taboo and everything but I just felt the need to do that and I'm like it's fine it would have been nice if you had told us because you've been acting really odd but you know whatever it just it was it was a bad night because he was just really being just odd and making everybody miserable and trying to tell us all how we should be doing things and then turns out he felt that he had been given that authority because he had started his own group and that's why he had skipped his initiation because he uh, thought that he already knew everything even though when he started with us he you know was just starting out whatever right um, let's see what are some other uh, I remember one Beltane, I'm not going to go into the saucy details, but it was just um, me and Bat, and we just had like just this amazing power going, this flow and everything, and you know, just, we ended up just like doing things. <laughs> we, we had our own great right in the circle, so that's all I'm gonna say um but tonight is more we're just gonna do a little family thing we don't have anything big planned um you know we've got obligations this week and we're already exhausted and it's only Tuesday so I just thought we'd have like a nice little dinner we're gonna have some um, uh, slow cook pulled pork and um, butternut squash casserole and some fresh cherries because that'll be our seasonal food because I asked the kids what they wanted and they're like oh this 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 and I'm like it's not really seasonal but autistic kids what you gonna do um We might do something a little more this weekend and maybe not maybe this be it who knows you know i like to do uh special things but it doesn't always work out um oh yeah the reason i haven't been on here in the last few days is got up saturday and had every intention of doing a video and we didn't have internet again 
and we called our our internet provider and they're not open on the weekends so we're like well that's gonna be a weekend without internet and it was we got it back um, Sunday night really late and then Monday yesterday I was exhausted I we had a really fantastic full moon um, it was just it was gorgeous I went outside and like it, it almost looked green and just you know the super amazing energy like you know and I can't even describe it and then went to bed at a decent time and at two o'clock I woke up and couldn't go back to sleep and I looked out the window and the moon was right there in the window like it was watching over me and I just had this amazing meditation because I was already awake and there was no going back to sleep so I just had this amazing meditation with the moon just right there in the window and um just meditated on what I needed to let go of because full moon in Scorpio it's a good time to you know let go of whatever is holding you back to make room for new things and so I just um and I realized that I still hold on to a lot of anger and I, I've said this before and so I realized that I just need to let go of that anger. But then, you know, waking up at two o'clock and not being able to go back to sleep is exhausting. And so I was super tired the rest of the day. And I was just like, even though we had internet again, I was just like, I cannot do a video, guys. I am just too sleepy. But I got a really good night's sleep last night. And you know I just I apologize to you guys and I, I try to do these every day but there's just sometimes it's not gonna happen all right so tomorrow we're gonna be talking about the theme for this week and um, like I said today's uh, Beltane and I wanted to tell you guys happy Beltane and tell you a little bit about how my Beltane is going and um you know i would love to hear from you so let me know in the comments down below what you do or how your day was if you did anything special if you just spent it by yourself or if you were too busy to do anything you know it's all good you just gotta at least acknowledge it right all right so tomorrow we're going to be doing uh, the new month theme and uh, the theme for this new month is going to be cleaning and cleansing and we're going to be working on um, body mind spirit cleaning and cleansing but we're also going to be talking about your home cleaning and cleansing so we're just going to do like kind of half and half i've got a lot of ideas in my mind we'll see how they work all right so that's all for today and um, if you like this video hit like and please hit the subscribe button and notification bell I try to make videos every day and I'll see you guys tomorrow and I love you guys happy Beltane bye